Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another prepare for team of the year video and well I know I have been really really consistent with the prepare for team of the year weekly series so I thought you know I can't lose my consistency so I had to upload this one right here today. And well, if you guys haven't watched any of my previous prepare for team of the year videos, I really really suggest you to go and watch them before you actually come to this because this is like a conclusion of what I have done by now and I'll also be adding a few more things. So well, um, the first thing to do if you haven't yet started preparing for the team of the year, if you don't know when it's releasing, well, it's officially going to be releasing on the 9th of January or 10th morning depending on where you live. So. It will be releasing then and team of the year consists of the best players of the year so it will have some 99, 98, 97 rated cards. So once again I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a 99 Ronaldo because he won the Ballon d'Or. There's gonna be a 98 Messi because he was the second best player this year. And there should be a 97 Griezmann because he was the best striker of the year. So that way there's gonna be 11 players totally, a goalkeeper, 4 defenders, 4 midfielders and 3 attackers. They always go with a 4-3-3 formation. Even if you have like three left wingers, but there'll still be only three forwards. They'll there may be a, all four center midfielders or maybe four left midfielders, but there'll always be four midfielders. So that's how it goes. Let's move on to how you can actually prepare for the team of the year. So first of all, you should actually actually do this. Now there's not much time left, but if you have you know maybe money enough, then you should go and do this every week you should go and do the inform master every week because every time you do it you get fifa mobile team of the year token now i have already seven tokens i'll get eight token this week and i always do the master inform plan on the like on like the last two days when it's left because the prices are all down if you go into the market right now and if you actually see you need to collect 83 thiago and 85 laka 85 laka it goes for 590k and if you search for 83 thiago he also goes for above 200k so you'll be like he goes for 300k so you'll be spending around 800 to 900,000 coins and you'll be getting a player who's worth maybe like 500 600,000 coins because people will get these guys they'll sell him off for like they'll try to sell off the striker hazard for a price that it actually sells for so they might list for 600k and all that so you'll be making a loss but if you actually do it in the last day or last two days the prices will be really low like maybe Lacazette will be for 200k and Thiago maybe for like 110, 115k. So you'll be having like 300k and obviously a 90 rated striker with stats like those of that of 90 Hazard will not go below 400k. So you'll be ha not making, you'll not be making much of a loss. Moving on guys, there's so many, so many things that you should be knowing. I expect team of the year to be a little different than any other team of the year of every previous FIFA. So since FIFA Mobile has plans and everything and there's team of the year tokens, I'm thinking there'll be requirements to get the team of the year players. They may be available in normal packs, they may not be available in normal packs, they may be available in only bundles, they may not be available in only bundles and they may be like the 200k packs that have you a chance of getting one of those guys or there may be a 500k pack with a guaranteed team of the year player or a 1 million coins pack with a guaranteed team of the year player or all that stuff so we don't know there's so many possibilities of about this and if you guys have an idea of what it could be just be sure to tell me down below i need to i really want to know all of your ideas so i could help out people if i think your idea is like better off than my idea and it could be either this way or it could be like the flash sale bundles and it could be like you need certain amount of tokens team of the year tokens to get a certain amount of team of their players so maybe five team of their tokens would give you a team of their defender or goalkeeper 10 may give you a midfielder and 15 tokens will give you a forward so i have like seven tokens right now and if you get maybe like a 10 token i'll get a midfielder so I'm, I'm thinking that these tokens will also be available in live events. When I asked Tom Calify, he works at EA by the way, he told me that the more the tokens you have, the better it is. Even if you have two, three tokens, it's still good for you. So don't think you only require five tokens in the end and if you can't get them, just don't do it. 
do it as much as you can get as many tokens as you can because every token counts in the end that's what was told to me by ea so if you have coins save them up for team of the year but if you have a load of coins above 1 million just go and do the team of the year tokens get as many team of the year tokens as you can and have a chance of getting a team of the year higher than just trying to pack a team of the year so there are so many possibilities here it could be in packs it could not be in packs it could maybe only be in plans it could be in plans as well as in packs but if it is in plans it would be something really really different maybe ronaldo will be a master team of the year player so you might need like two team of the year players to get a master team of the year player so you may need like two team of the year players to get ronaldo 99 rated team of the year or it could be like a flash sale or it could be like the christmas um freeze where you have to go to plans and do stuff like this where you can like trade in a few players and make him a team of the year or put in a normal card of the player and make him a team of the year there's so much stuff it could also be it could also be like this this is what i'm talking about cold footed players you know right you need you need to put two snowflakes to get a cold footed player so co- snowflakes could be like the team of the year tokens maybe you need two team of the year tokens for an untradeable team of the year player then you convert him to tradable by adding some more stuff into him and he becomes a tradable team of the year player so you can sell him off or maybe you need to collect three untradable team of the year players to make him into a tradable forward team of the year player and it could also be like the flash freeze players the 93 rated players that had come out they were only there in the game for 5 hours each it could be like that maybe you have to collect tokens and everything and just when the player particular player you want he comes out in the game just use your f- tokens and everything and get that particular flash freeze player or like that particular team of their flash player or flash team of their player or whatever it's really called so there's so many things that we need to be prepared for here there could be you need to be prepared with having a good load of coins i have like a 1.4 million coins here i also have a team which is worth like a lot still Jiru sells for about 250k. He going again sells for a lot of coins. I also have Sterling who sells for like a 185 to 200k. So I have a squad that could still make me reach to 2 million coins if I actually need it in the end. But I'm still saving up my squad, make it a little decent, but also keep it a little high rated. Keep it a little high rated, make it a little decent, don't make it bad. don't make it really bad because if you don't get anything in the end you have lost your whole account you don't have anything left so that's why i'm going to be buying for fifa points for this team of the year is like the best year of the best part of the year in fifa i'm going to buy team i'm going to buy some fifa points i'm going to save up my fifa coins to open packs as well with fifa coins i have saved up so many packs here the daily players pack the pro packs the all pro packs the goalkeeper packs because who knows if you get a goalkeeper team of the year player from the goalkeeper packs or the league masters pack any pack that has a chance of giving an elite player save it up just save it up don't spend your coins now now is not the time to be spend as a time you should be saving up coins and points for that is the most important time of the year that is a, those are the players that actually become extinct like 2 weeks right after they are out of packs They are sick players. They go for a lot in the market every year. Very less people pack them, and if you do, you ca- you should consider yourself very lucky. And if you, if you are not interested in team of the, well, then you can do one thing. You can start sniping players. You can start trading during the team of the year. Every player in the market will reduce in price. We have seen many market crashes during freeze, during the ninety seven rated players, during the ninety three rated players. We have seen market crashes during the league master players. You will see a huge market crash during the team of the year. Every year, whatever happens there is going to be a huge market crash. Because everyone wants team of the year players. Everyone wants to open packs. Everyone wants to spend all their coins on packs. So they sell off the whole team, they sell off everything they have. 
and try to get those team of the year players. Whether they buy them, whether they pack them, but they try to get team of the year players because you know, you all know their prices will go up by a lot. When the players release in the game, one day after they release, their prices will be really low. Buy them during that time. Buy them off during that time. In FIFA 15, I'm talking about FIFA 15 because 16 had a market that cannot be changed. It had price caps. But FIFA 15 didn't have price caps. You could list your player for any price. So FIFA 15, the team of their players, when they just released, David Lewis 89 rated. He was going for around 200,000 coins. Only 200,000 coins. When they went out of packs, when the team of the year was over, two weeks later, he was going for about 800 to 900,000 coins. One month later, he was going for above 1 million coins. He became so rare, everyone bought him. Everyone bought him. He was not there on the market. People used to pay real money to actually get team of the year players because they were out of the market. They were not there. They were extinct from the market. That's the value of team of the year players. They cost a lot afterwards. But during the team of the year, they're dirt cheap. They're really, really cheap. So if you have money, either open packs, spend them all, or buy team of the year players. Invest in other players like normal Messi card, normal Ronaldo card because if someone has a Messi card they will sell the Messi card to try and get the team of the year Messi card if they have a Ronaldo striker card they'll sell it off and try to get the right wing 99 Ronaldo card hell yeah why wouldn't you if you have enough money if you have a player who can be replaced by a better player then why not exactly why every player in the market will be cheap you can buy 92 rated, 93 rated players, snipe them off for less than 100k. Easy, easy snipes. I have seen people sniping 91, 92 rated players for 86 to 90,000 up to 100,000 coins. That's how cheap everything goes during a market crash. Nobody's buying players. They're all trying to get team of their players. Always. So be sure to do that. Play smart. Either get go for team of their players or go for making coins by investing in players. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button and tell me down below what you think. How will we, we be obtaining team of the year players? Will they be available only in packs, only in plans, only through FIFA points or in packs as well as plans? And how do you think the team of their tokens are going to work out? And well, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. It's Foot Freak signing out. Bye bye.